All right, guys, let's take a look at this here. Can somebody, can you experiment back there, somebody back there? Experiment with the lights, see which one turns the ones off up here. No. No. Just turn them all off and then turn that back one back on. All right, that's good. All right. Up here in the bonus, zero. what is anything to the zero power? Zero. 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 One. 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 What? Yeah. Remember what you do? What do you do here? Do you remember this? What do you do when you divide? What do you do with the powers? Subtract them, right? Yeah. All right, so watch this. How do I make it come out to be zero then? I have to have them to be the same, right? Two minus two is zero, right? Yeah. But what is something divided by itself? Trick. One. One. No trick. I know. So if I have no x's, what's always in front of the x? What's right here? One. One. So if I have no x's, the only thing there must be the understood one. That's why x to the zeros, I have no x's, so all I got is the one. So this would be, what's being raised to the zero power here is this. This is three times one, mm -hmm. not one, the only the x is being raised to zero, minus one. Three minus one is two. Yay. Freaky yeah. shit. So that's bonus. We'll get into exponents later. But I just wanted to see who remembers what zero power means. Nope. 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 All right. But now you do. I do. Aw. Uh, let's see. Let's just go over this here. Wait. All right. So let's see here. Oh, real quick word about order operations. I, I actually personally know some teachers who should not be teachers because they teach order operations incorrectly, which really sucks for you guys, I know, but what can I do? Uh, so this is the order operations here, right? What's the saying? Please excuse my dumbass son, or dear Aunt Sally. Yes, so the problem is, it could have been called this. Which one's easier to say? The first one. How do you say this one? This sounds like you're drunk. Pedvasa. We're just going to learn about Pedvasa. The reason it could have been either one is because you do this as it comes. They're on the same level. So I write it like this. Definitely parentheses first. Definitely exponent second. Multiplication division as it comes. They are on the same level. Addition and subtraction as it comes, they're on the same level. Yeah. That is the way it should be written. Because that's the way it is meant. So that, or the, we could have said it's this. Just put both letters on, what the hell is that word? That's, I don't know what that is. All right, anyway, so this is the grammar of math. Grammar is always the hardest part of any language, right? So anyways, you're learning a second language, you know all too well. I'm trying to learn English, I'm sorry. Some of us born in it, we don't know it too well either. Um, so this guy, the very first thing you got to realize is how this works. You just plug these things in, right? I think most people were able to do that. The y is 5, and the z is negative 2, and the a is negative 3. So now applying order operations, the very last thing I would do is this subtraction. Because that's the very end of order operations, right? So i got to do in here first. You could distribute first, because you do have a distributive property, but I don't need to. You only need to if it's like an x that I can't do. So here, what's negative 3 squared? Nine. None. Nine. And what is negative 2 plus negative 3? Negative 5. Negative 5. Oh, you 2 bucks, oh, you 3 bucks, oh, 5 bucks altogether. I wish debt canceled. That would be so awesome. But it, it adds on itself, damn. Damn you, math. So then here's another place where people messed up. You don't subtract before you multiply. This is negative 5, believe it or not. Some people say that's a negative, that's a minus sign, Jeff. But yeah, it's also a negative. It's both. So negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25. So if you got 34, you're good. If you didn't, make sure you know why. And don't make the mistake again. All right, how are we doing so far? Sort of? All right. All right, so 2a, I want to give you just a straight up another PEMDAS because it's so freaking important. Uh, you cannot square both of those. You just can't. Because 
So what is exponents based on? What operation is exponents based on? Multiplication. Multiplication. So they play well. If it was this, if I don't know if you guys remember, if I had 2x squared, I could make that 4x squared all day. Because exponents are based on multiplication. They will play well with multiplication. Beautiful. They do not play well with subtraction because they ain't defined on subtraction. Right? Just to use English grammar horribly, but too bad. So I, I, I but 4 minus 2, shit, that's easy. Do that first, and then I know what I'm squared. So I get 3 plus 2, two squared. And the big mistake other people make is they put this together and make it 6. And I really want it in that whole statement. Just look at the statement as it is. What's the only thing that would be on the bottom? Do you guys know what I mean? What's the only number that would be on the bottom? What's the only number I'm dividing by? Is two. Yeah. What am I doing with three? I'm multiplying by it. So it's not fair if I make it the three go down with the two and make it divided by six. That's not fair. So multiplication division, you do it as it comes. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So the last thing I'm going to do in that problem, of course, is the... Plus. Plus the addition is the last thing I'm going to do. So it's three plus I don't know yet. So do this. Two squared is? Four. Four divided by two is? Two. Two times. Two times three is? Six. Nine. All right. So this is important, and this is, it never goes away. It's always there. Order operations is the grammar of math. So grammar never goes away. What about this guy? So question, two. Question, oh, sorry. Question, yes. before, question before you start the, uh, the first one. Sure. Uh, if we do the multiply before the division, if that's wrong? It yes, be because wrong? a couple reasons. One thing is you get a different number. And if you get different numbers based on how you look at things, then math can't possibly be used to communicate. Math is a language we communicate with. So we have to all agree on what that sentence means. Right? If you get a different number than me, then, for example, we'll have our spaceship craft to crash into Earth, which, into Mars, which actually happened. Two different teams were using two different units, and they built this thing and it crashed into Mars because one was using feet and one was using meters. I don't know if you guys know that. This is an actual thing that happened. Scientists, I'm like, good lord, science. <laughs> they use metric, which most of the rest of the Earth uses. America, we're insane. We use freaking, I don't know if you know this, but the units we use are based on the measurements of one of the kings of England. Did you know that? The foot was based on how big that guy's foot was, right? Anyway, if you didn't know that, look it up. Wow. I know. And uh, didn't we have the revolution or stuff like that? We're all like, oh, it's America. We're going to use what we want. We're using freaking British shit. And even they <laughs> went to metric. Hello? Let's, let's, let's follow up on the whole revolution thing. Sorry, I'll let it go. Uh, what's the very first thing I should do here? Crisis. Yeah, you all know to look for that distribution thing. The thing again is this is negative two. So what's negative two times x? Negative two x. What's negative two times negative five? Plus ten y. Plus 10y. Plus 10y. Good. And now it's just a like term. So really, all you're saying is if you got five x's and you're taking two x's away, you got three x. Three x. I'm just consolidating my. That's all like terms is. 3x, and I got negative 3y's plus 10y. 7y. Seven, seven 7y plus yeah. another 10y. 17y. Yeah. So if you got that, you're good. So that's all like terms is. They have to have the same letters and the same amount of each letter, and then you can consolidate them. That's all it is. All right, how are we doing so far? Any, anytime you need, stop. If you have a question, at least 10 other people have the same question. So don't feel like... look. At, if you look around and see people doing this, very often they're doing that, I don't know why, they're just doing that to make me feel better, but they might not have a clue, they're like, I have no idea what you're saying. Yes? Oh, uh, are you cool with right here, negative 3y plus 10y is 7y, plus the other 10y's is 17 altogether, yeah. So this guy, Fractions, of course, we sort of cringe when we see them, but we know how to do this, and if you don't have to get the answer out of that, you can, you, you can reduce several steps. So if you see that 2 goes into both, great, start there. So that'll be 24 over 36. Now what still goes into both of those? 2. 12. 12. Yeah, you do 12 over 18, 12. right? 2. 2 goes in again. 6, Six. over 9. Now 3. 3 goes into both. Or you could have noticed that 24 goes into both and went straight there. 
It doesn't matter how many steps you took. Just make sure you stop when there's nothing else you could do. Don't stop here. Right, how are we doing so far? So reducing is normally the part that people are okay with. It's when I start doing stuff like that. But let me show you a little trick. 12 and 8 are not hard. 12, 24, 24. You know it's going to be the LCD. But let me show you something. If the bottoms do get gross, what's the biggest number 12 and 8 have in common? Uh, what, is, what goes into both 12 and 8? 4. four. 12 is 4 times 3. 8 is 4 times 2. Now you can see exactly what they're missing. What's the first guy missing that the other guy has? The first guy's got a what? A 4 and a 3. The second guy's got a 4 and a 2. So what's the first guy missing? A 2. A 2. So give him a 2. Shit. What's the second guy missing? A 3. So then you get 22 over 24 minus 21 over 24. Do you see that? Break them up. What do they have in common? Okay, they both have that. Times what? And then you can see who's missing what. It's like little kids. They may have kids. Yes. So if you give one ice cream and sprinkles, and you know, and then get sprinkles, there's going to be some shit going down. You're like, oh crap! You got some, you got more sprinkles than oh. If I was, I just said, I eat both. Shut up. <laughs> That's why it's probably good. All the kids, they'd be crying every day. I bought it. <laughs> get a job. <laughs> So 124 is what you should have gotten there. How are we doing time? we got a couple minutes. This guy, you could, please, dear God, don't cross multiply. There's only one place that you cross multiply. Oh, and it's, when it's a fraction, fraction equals a fraction. That's the one place. Here, you can multiply straight across, but why is that a little crazy? You get big ass numbers. So isn't there a five in there? And it's being divided by a 5 in there. So it's all multiplication division, so they should cancel, of course, if it's something on the top or the bottom. So 5 goes into both of those. What goes into both of these? 7. 7, seven goes into that. 7 goes into that. What's 3 times 3? 9. 4 times 4? 16. Done. That's it. Now, you could do 15 times 21, do 20 times 20, you get these big-ass numbers, and then you got to reduce. It's much easier to reduce first. How are we doing? Are we all right? Yes. Doesn't that lead to some Be careful. Uh, if, because what you're doing is just square rooting both. You're not allowed to do that. You got to divide or multiply. Otherwise, uh, stuff like one fourth would equal one half. Is that true? Because I'm doing the same thing. Square root of one is one. Square root of four is two. You can only divide or multiply top and bottom. Does nine have something in it that sixteen also has in it? No. No. 9 has 3's, 16 has 4's, which are 2's. Nothing is common. Is that cool? You can only cancel out stuff that are common factors. I like it. All right, so what about this guy? This is why I think some of us think division comes last. Because uh, I think we have to stop after this problem. Let me. If I wrote this in a straight line, I'd have to write it like this. I couldn't write it like this, 25 minus 2 times 3 squared. I couldn't do this. Why couldn't I do this? Because it's divided. Because it's this divided by that, see? So when we have that big-ass bar, we know it means the top is separate from the bottom. But people take that and they do the same thing with, with uh, this. They say the division is last. No, the, the top. this is not the top. This is 3 plus you guys start to understand? I think that's why some people do division last always is because of problems like this one with the big ass bar. Where's my finger? There it is. So what do you do here? You do the top 25 minus what's 2 times 9? Nine. Nine. 18. And then 36, right? 6 squared minus 8. 8. 7, eight. Seven, seven over 28, 28. Which of course goes... One, 1 over 4. 1 over 4. I like it. Alright. Am I out of time? Is this fast or is my slow? What time is it? 8.50. 8.50? Alright, that's the time. So we'll do these tomorrow. Explain <laughs> Oh, uh, Oh, I did it a different way, but you can see right off the bat. Alright, so like, if I had this. If I had... Uh, 